things are going to get pretty dicey in this country because on December 31st, that is the last day that people will be protected from evictions. Donald Trump's moratorium on all evictions expires. So on January 1st, millions and millions of Americans are going to be expected to pony up months of past due rent. Otherwise, what's going to happen? They're going to get evicted. And if this happens, then it's going to be a disaster to say the least. Now, if Donald Trump is reelected, I'm assuming that he's going to try to take action to either extend that moratorium if he knows what's good for him because he's not able to deal with that much chaos. He's incompetent. But if, let's say, there's the situation where Joe Biden beats him and Trump is now a lame duck president on his way out on January 20th or 21st, whenever, is he going to take action? No. He's going to leave Joe Biden with this gigantic eviction crisis, and it's going to get really ugly. It's going to lead to civil unrest. People are going to take to the streets if they have nothing to lose. If you get evicted and you have nowhere to go, you have no choice but to take to the streets and protest for action. Now look, it's not like come December 31st, all of a sudden, our economic woes will disappear. The virus will still be here. And as a result, people aren't going to have money to pay months of back rent. Like, where is this money going to come from? We haven't done anything to ameliorate this crisis, right? People aren't getting a UBI. Unemployment is through the roof. So what exactly are we going to do? And this really is an open question, and it's scary to think about what will happen. But in our late-stage capitalist society, we can't expect one thing. The private sector is going to attempt to cash in on this crisis because the gig economy is now going to try to take this eviction crisis and pit working people against each other. So where if you are in a situation where you're not making money and you've lost your job because of this pandemic, well, what you can do is um, work to evict your fellow Americans who have also lost everything. So as Ashwin Rodriguez of Vice reports, during a time of great economic and general hardship, civil aims to be essentially Uber, but for evicting people, seizing on a pandemic-driven nosedive in employment and a huge uptick in number of people who can't pay their rent, civil aims to make it easy for landlords to hire process servers and eviction agents as gig workers. Helena Duncan, a Chicago-based paralegal who also participates in housing activism, saw a Craigslist post from civil while searching for jobs. The ad alone alarmed her. It's fucked up that there will be struggling working class people who will be drawn to gigs like furniture hauling or process serving for a company like Civil, evicting fellow working class people from their homes so they themselves can make rent, she told Motherboard. In its Craigslist ads posted across the country, Civil explains the opportunity plainly. There is plenty of work due to the dismal economy. Unemployment is at a record high and many cannot or simply are not paying rent and mortgages, the ad state. We are being contracted by frustrated property owners and banks to secure foreclosed residential properties. Civil aims to marry the gig economy with the devastation of a pandemic, complete with signature gig startup language like be your own boss and flexible hours and looking for self-motivated individuals with positive attitudes. Fastest growing money-making gig due to COVID-19, its website says. Literally thousands of process servers are needed in the coming months due to courts being backed up in judgments that needs to be served to defendants. The company at first glance appears to be some kind of Nathan for us prank sicking precarious gig jobs on vulnerable people but civil is connected to a larger and real gig economy company called on call which describes itself as an app that provides on-demand task services to non-urban communities beyond main city areas on call is the developer behind other more believable task rabbit-esque apps like lawn fixer clean quick and move quick given the fact that civil is advertising all over the country and that on call though not popular does exist, it seems as though civil actually is an attempt to simplify the process of evicting people who cannot pay their rent during a pandemic. Now, had this article not included that paragraph um, saying, I know this seems satirical, but it's real, we've looked into it, I probably wouldn't be talking about this because me just like seeing this headline, I thought, no, there's no way, it's either clickbait or, you know, they're being duped by some sort of hoax or like, I don't know, some, I don't know, like, this can't be real. 
that was my takeaway. There's no way this is real. I mean, even for our late stage capitalist economy, um, there's there's no way that a company would stoop this low, right? It has to be fake. It's real. What do you even say to that? Do I think people would go for this if they were desperate enough and they knew about this and this could be a lucrative opportunity for them? I mean, look, if it comes down to it and you have to choose between making sure that there's a roof over your head versus someone else, you know, you're going to look out for number one. You're going to look out for your family. And if that means, you know, you're you're going to have to evict other people, I'm sure a lot of people may opt for that as an option because they're desperate. When you get desperate, you resort to really crazy things, right? So this company is pitting the working class against each other and they're profiting off of it. Something like this in our late stage capitalist society is even shocking to people like me who talk frequently about the depravity of our late stage culture, late stage capitalist culture. Like, you think that there's some limit, right? But there's not a limit. Like, in the event, we started to literally see the apocalypse come about. If we're not already there, there's going to be some way that capitalists will try to make money off of it. If there's an asteroid headed our way, um, you know, they're going to sell lifeboats to rich people. If, you know, um, there's a revolution in the streets, there's going to be security firms that sell protection to people. Like, there's going to be some attempt to make money so long as we live in this late-stage capitalist society. It's just, it's morally depraved, it's disturbing, but I mean, this is what we've come to expect. Like, we are a country that hasn't done jack fucking shit for people during an economic depression and a pandemic we gave people a one-time payment of twelve hundred dollars and that's it does anyone even think that there's going to be another stimulus check before this election before the end of the year we've done nothing we've responded to covid19 and the economic depression that resulted because of said pandemic in a way that we'd expect a failed state to respond. Like, our government just isn't functioning. Normal governments won't just sit idly by as almost 40 million Americans could be evicted come January 1st. Like, this isn't a normal response. It's not healthy for a developed country with the most money in the world to just let people suffer. And then you see things like this happen. So now the gig economy, which wouldn't even be a thing if people weren't already desperate in the first place, is now going to um, pit working class people against each other by, you know, getting them to evict one another and make money off of that to survive. It's like a dog-eat-dog world in, you know, the most literal sense where, you know, you literally have to harm your fellow working class citizens in order to survive. That's That's where we're at. And I don't know how many people are going to go for this, but... It's fucking disgusting. And I don't know, like, I don't really have the words. I'm still shocked that this is a thing. And there's a part of me that's still hoping that this is satire and we're all being duped. But is it really that unbelievable in a late stage capitalist society? No, unfortunately, no.